Before doing this video, I've been searching YouTube for videos that claim to be the ultimate guide to a Utaya. So far, all I found was clickbait videos that don't provide any useful information about the city. All they say is, oh, this place looks old. But fear not, I'm here to save your buttocks, dear boy. With the real ultimate guide to a Utaya, brought to you by an experienced tour guide. That'll be me. In this guide, I'll provide essential information on how to get to Utaya, navigate the city, give you tips on the best time to visit, and I'll also share the incredible history of the city, the story and background of a once rich and powerful Utaya, including the main buildings that people visit in the Utaya and what they're known for, as well as good places to eat and where it's good to spend the night in the city. So, how about that then? Let's get into it, shall we? The real ultimate guide to a Utaya. The UTR was founded in 1350 by King Ramati Bodhi. Rumour has it the king was originally a Chinese merchant. The reason for this founding of the city has been lost in history, but many people believe that in 1350 there was a lot of disease, so moving location was a good idea. Whatever the reason, it was a very good location. Strategically located where three major rivers meet. Utaya is actually an island surrounded by rivers, making it a thriving hub for trade and diplomacy. Merchants from Asia and Europe flocked here to exchange goods, making Utaya a trading hub. Utaya became extremely wealthy in its heyday. Artery looking wonderful as always. <laughs> Here we are at Wataya Watanaram. Ah, which is an ancient temple. So the purpose of this building was temple. simply a place of worship, yeah, a temple. We've got lots of uh, statues of Buddha here. This is my first time here. A lot of people like to dress up for here, so maybe next time. Next time, yeah. Okay. Actually, you can dress up. You too. Come <laughs> Remind you of anything, Archery? Mm -hmm. No. Anchor what? Yeah, so I looked, it's got nothing to do with Cambodia, despite the style. They just used the style when they built their temple. This temple has got loads more popular thanks to a series called Love Destiny, which is now available on Netflix in some countries. The series evolves around a lady working as an archaeologist who mysteriously travels back in time to the era of King Narai. King Narai is renowned for his foreign affairs and incentives, as well as fostering the first golden age of Thai literature as a compelling historical aspect to the series. I've enjoyed the show for its history, but it's primarily a love story. On average, each episode features about six scenes where the female protagonist stumbles, only to be caught by the male lead. The camera dramatically zooms in on their faces in slow motion, often lasting about 10 minutes. This romantic moment is cheesy and cringy and painful to watch. But if you can overlook these moments, the series has much more to offer. Personally, I continued watching for research and language learning purposes, but it has gathered a huge fan base. Many enthusiasts are so captivated by the show, they visit this very temple and dress up in a Utaya style inspired by this series. And if I'm being totally honest, it is really addictive. In 1593, amidst the thriving city landscapes, a fierce battle took place. Burmese-Siamese war raged on, and the Burmese army had besieged the capital. According to the Thai history books, King Nari Sawan, a symbol of courage and strength, issued a challenge to the Burmese king. King Nari Sawan won what is known as the Elephant Battle. This battle secured the Utaya's independence for many generations after. <laughs>
Okay, I plan to split this up a bit. So we'll do some history, we'll do a bit of resorts, we'll do a bit of transport, we'll do a bit more history, and then we'll do a bit of food, you know, that kind of thing. That's the plan. Oh, that's yeah, a window. And you can adjust that. And then, like, I have many, like, a window. See? Mm -hmm. You can and live in it. You can live inside. This is the UTR train station. You can get a train here from Bangkok. And uh, you'll end up here. Exactly here. The hotel we're staying on is just on the corner up, up ahead over here. So it's relatively easy and when you get here there are people that drive you around. There's a tuk-tuk just in front of us there. And um, probably taxis appear fairly regularly. So yeah, it's all quite convenient getting around here and the train station. After at the train station. Yeah. Where? One, Wat Chai Chai Yat Wat Naram, the one that Jesus been there. Yeah. And this one is Wat Mongkon Bopit, is a three of that, one, two, three. Yeah. Yes. And Wat Ratsaburana. Yeah. There's a lot of people today. And the head Buddha inside the tree is Wat Mahapa. <laughs> yeah, it's another temple here. Yeah. And the temple that we should go is Wat Panan Panan Chawaravihan. This is a big one. Ah. And this have the gate. Actually, it's a really big station. Very big station, actually. Lots of seating area. You can get a train from Satani, meaning station, Hua Lampong. You can also get a train to UTR from Dom Muang Airport. Now apologies if I'm not pronouncing them correctly, I'm giving it my best go. Also buses depart from Ban Pan Tom and Pranakon in Bangkok. Oh, I need a cup of tea. The journey takes about two hours from Bangkok by bus to a UTR. You can also book minivans or even your own private taxi. If you wish to book any of this, you can do so on my website www.youknowthailand.com slash I'll leave a link in the description. In fact, I've written all this information down for you. On my website, it includes what to see in the UTR, as well as transport here, what areas to stay. You can even compare tours that are available in the area. And if you really want to travel north, I've done a book your own trip page with a step-by-step -step guide to places around the north. To be honest, if you're planning to come here, you'll be mad not to look. www.youknowthailand.com slash UTR. Like I say, it's in the description. Tree's got chili and rice. I've got some real food. <laughs> We've got a non air conditioned one here, and the purple one is air conditioned. And Depends what you can, can handle. Sleep there too, the purple one. Yeah, it's sleeper sleep train. Overnight, yeah. yeah. Sleeper train too. With aircon, I don't know which one I prefer. 
I put this place in the middle of nowhere, don't they? I suppose it was here originally, but... Oh, oh wow, look at this boat. Really big. Uh, so this is it, I think, on the on our exact spot. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, it's a bit of a mess, but it's nice. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, it's nice. These are the old trading boats, then. Hmm? Must be the old trading boats. This is Banner Hold over there. There's one? Yeah. Okay, let's go in. Oh, oh, oh. The Utah focused on expanding its economic empire by trading with other countries. During the Ming Dynasty, China only allowed countries that had a royal seal to trade with them directly. The Utah was one of the few countries that had this privilege. Other countries that wanted to trade with China had to go for a Utah and pay extra taxes. The Utah also welcomed foreign trading communities such as the Dutch and the Japanese, but they were restricted to the outskirts of the island. This is because they had their own private armies to protect their goods, which could pose a threat to UTR security if they were inside the island. Here we are at the site of Ban Hollander. Over here was the very successful trading company that was based in the Utah Yard, the most successful company in the world actually, what we often call the Dutch East India Company, or what is known as the VOC. These people were the very first shareholders in the world. You could get shares in the VOC and they traded around Southeast Asia into Europe. And this is the very site in the Utah Yard over here, which has been reconstructed where the OC were located. So really incredible when you think about it. Ah. In our days, it's in a museum um, and you can come visit here. It's a largely overlooked part of Utah Yard, but to me, it's like, you know, this is what made the Utah Yard UCR really. Not just the VOC, but I mean trading. You've got all the trading history over here. So you definitely want to come here when you come to Utah Yard. So there's this one, and there's also a Japanese settlement up the road, which I'm gonna check out too. Uh, I don't think they'll let me film in the museum, but I'll give it a go. What would you like to buy, Archery? We, we have spices. We have spices for sale if you want any spices. Say, take back to Holland. Ban Holland. We call Ban, Ban is house. Ah. So the name of this place is Ban Hollanda, right? Yeah. Yeah, Ban is house. Ban is house, which makes sense. Hollanda. Yeah. Hollanda and Holland is the same, right? Yeah. Yeah, Ban Hollander. Yeah. yeah go up Holland, Holland, Netherlands, Dutch. Yeah. All the same thing. Yeah. So this is the secret upstairs. So you tell everyone later what inside. Okay. 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 
VOC was the very first company you could buy stocks in. The VOC were given powers to start wars, make treaties, and make his own money to start new colonies. They were extremely successful. The VOC made more money annually than Apple, Google, and Facebook combined today. Their success caused other Europeans to copy their model, and they're mostly famous for being absolutely ruthless. But their only real aim is to make as much money as possible, and no governments control them. The British East India Company was a direct copy of the Dutch East India Company, otherwise known as the VOC. Now, the British East India Company definitely did a lot of questionable things and ultimately took over huge swathes of Asia. These companies were constantly at war with each other, and I don't mean arguing, I mean sinking each other's ships with cannons. The countries weren't at war with each other, but the companies were competing over consumer goods brought from Asia. The British East India Company did not have much success in the UTR, unable to compete with the VOC, and there was even a short war between Siam and British East India Company. So ultimately, they packed their bags and left. They didn't leave Asia, but they did leave a UTR. Now maybe it just looks like they've just dumped them here, but these boats are actually very well preserved. Very well indeed. I don't think I can walk amongst them though. Um, well, have a look. It's very overgrown. Something else, isn't it? Really get a feel for the place here. Really get a feel for its history. Now this is what some people consider a very dark part of history. And this isn't a political channel. I don't take sides. I just say what happened as neutral as possible. Later on, there would be an Anglo-Dutch war and it would be the VOC that wouldn't be able to compete with the British East India Company, but not during the UTR period. All of this is a very long story and I want to get back to UTR now. What I'm saying is, have a look at these museums and one day I'll do a video on it because after all, the past is not for us to like, but to learn from. Delicious. Mag mag. Mag mag. It's Indian curry pizza. Yeah, unbelievable. Mm. Wow. Ah, that good, wow. eh? Wow. Oh, I've got to tuck in. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing one. Not easy to buy it around here. Let's go check out the Japanese village, shall we? There's some crazy stories about this place. This 
This is very Japan. This is very Kyoto. Me. Me and Archie actually met in Japan. You might think we met in Thailand, but we met in Japan. The pot to clean your hand. This is to clean Left your hands. Left hand first, and after that, clean right hand. And after that, you use water, clean your mouth. Yeah. Like that. This is something to do with... To um, cleaning before you go to respect some... Uh, clean yourself before you respect... Respect some stuff. Like there. Um, God, I forgot the name of the religion that they use in Japan. Shin, 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 something like that. I forget. Shinto, that's what they call it. They put these on the entrance of places in Japan. Just like you got spirit houses in Thailand. It's a similar thing to that. So they had that in the Japanese village over here then. That's interesting. Did you know that many Japanese people in the UTR were Christians? They came to UTR to escape the religious persecution in Japan, where Christianity was banned and punished. But religious freedom was practiced in the UTR. Back in Kyoto, where we first met. <laughs> our first date. Well, we met in Mount Fuji, but our first date. Yes. In Kyoto, right? Uh-huh. Mm. For kimono for range too, the dress, dress up like Japanese, yeah. and have the shoes, the shoes, wood shoe and walk like this. Oh, the wood, the wooden shoes. Okay, so you can dress up in a Thai outfit in um or uniform in yeah. in the uh, centre, and when you come to Japanese village, you can dress up in a Japanese style. Yes, now that's really getting into the whole feel of things. These are these sand patterns that you get. And in some places, every day they'll make a new pattern. It's like a form of meditation. They really went all out to make it very beautiful here. Yeah. You think so, Archery? <laughs> they got a nice relaxing music and a very beautiful garden that you can stroll around and, you know, be in touch with nature, Japanese style nature. Yeah. Well done, guys. Well done, Japanese village. Very nice. I feel very at peace here. <laughs> Actually, watch something on this gentleman. One of the biggest trades that came from Japanese village was mercenaries. Due to the wars in Japan, samurai soldiers who fought for the losing side would leave the country. In 1613, the VOC was the first to hire samurai soldiers as mercenaries. And then a UTR followed suit. I assume I don't have to tell you how fearsome samurai soldiers were. You did not want to be up against them guys. They were war hardened, experienced, loyal, extremely brutal. And terrifying. King Song Tam of UTR was impressed by their skills and loyalty, hired many of them as bodyguards and trusted allies. The most famous of these was Yamada Nagamasa, I may be saying that wrong, who became known for harassing and plundering the Dutch East India Company, essentially acting as a pirate. However, the Dutch weren't very innocent either in this sense. They also engaged in similar acts of violence. Yama and Nagamasa eventually settled in a Utoyar's Japanese village, right next to the Dutch settlement. This must have been a bit awkward. He rose to a high position under King Songtam, who I also might be saying wrong, and I apologise if so. And even became the governor of a large province in Siam. He also accompanied a Siamese embassy to Japan, where he was received with great honour. He returned to Siam shortly after, but found himself in the middle of mayhem. There was a bloody succession dispute. Eventually, Yamada Nagamasa was tangled up in it all, and he was poisoned. Succession disputes were pretty normal in the UTR. They happened all over the world, but at UTR they happened more regularly than most. UTR struggled to be stable because often it was politically unstable. Here we have a Japanese village settlement in a UTR with samurais and Christians. It must have been a bit of a 
interesting mix for your average person. It's a very beautiful resort called Fenida Halal Resort, but they don't sell food, so I don't know what the halal bit is about, but <laughs> why not? <laughs> uh, we're going to have a look around the garden. We've done what I said you shouldn't do yesterday. Is um, We're leaving at midday sort of time now in the extreme heat. You might get away with it if you're coming between no October and November, where it's a bit cooler. But any other time. We're gonna struggle. Ah. I want to let you go inside. I don't know what is it. You see? They say it's like a castle, isn't it? it? Vanida. Vanida. Yeah, in Thai. It's a name in Thai. So that's why she put in the resort name. Okay. That's just because you can't w. pronounce the V. Yeah, but. but <laughs> Actually, she should use W, right? Yeah. To be correct, pronounce Yeah. Oh man, it's hot. Oh yeah. Must, can you hold this for a second, please? Must be a place for like a wedding reception. Yeah, this is a, one hell of a beautiful resort. It's just outside of a Utah yard, so you can only really come here if you're driving. Well, you, uh, you can come here actually, but you probably have to get a taxi in and out. Ah. Look at that. The land of the hobbits. I wasn't expecting this. Very beautiful. Do you mind if I come in? I don't look very happy about it, do you? I'm coming in anyway. This little snow white and the seven dwarves thing, isn't it? Gotta be. I'm bending down quite a lot here. It's not good for my back, look. I see pigs from here. On oh, ponies and cows. There's archery, that's where she went to. They're not pigs. They are cows. Massive bulls that are very pink. My friend, my really? Friend. Looks so, scary. Not scary. Ah, hello. Oh. Hello. Oh man, it's hot. Very, very hot. I don't know if I can do the temples. Oh, there's a cute one. Oh, your friend wanted a cuddle.
What's Racha Burana? All oh, right, yeah. Renat. Renat. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, what is the temple? Hmm? Raja is like a, a people. Burana is like a... In a... Uh, renovate. Renovate. Is better. So, what Raja Burana is like a, the temple for people. That's, to that's what I think. To renovate. To, to like a develop. Develop make them. It better. Ah, I see, okay. What Raja Burana. Ah. E Mac. It was 60 baht in total, right, baby? 60 baht because foreigners are 10 baht and Thai people have to pay 50, right? <laughs> huh? Other way round. Oh, I miss, I got confused. I got that wrong. Oh, okay. I thought I got a good deal then. <laughs> Wow, look at that. That's impressive. There's a good story behind this. All right, so the story of this temple is there was a king who had three sons and he didn't announce an heir to the throne. So two of the older brothers, they had a fight. They actually had a one-on-one -on -one combat to come king and they killed each other in the process, which left the younger brother a much easier chance of getting the throne. And uh, he's built two separate, you can't see this one, this is the main one, but there's two separate crypts here, two separate like cemeteries for the two older brothers that died and their ashes were buried over here. Um, so this is like a memorial to them. Actually in the 1950s there was a robber who broke into the crypt and stole loads of gold and they lost a lot of gold and they haven't been able to recover a lot of it. But what they have recovered is in the museum that you see in the Utah Yard. These were built in the early 15th century and this style you see a lot, although it is slightly different, this one. Um, you see this style a lot back then. It was popular back then. This was the kind of thing that they were into. Yeah, what you also got to remember is that when these were built, a lot of this was gold plated and it would have been, you know, in really top condition it would have been absolutely beautiful to see a utr is full potential actually you know considering the place was absolutely obliterated still quite a lot of it remains all things considered the destruction of Ayutthaya was a devastating event in the history of Thailand. The city which had been the capital of the kingdom for over 400 years was sacked and burnt by the Burmese army in 1767. The Burmese invasion was part of a long series of wars and conflicts between the two rival powers in Southeast Asia. The fall of Ayutthaya marked the end of an era and the beginning of a period of chaos and fragmentation in Thailand. The cultural, artistic and religious heritage of the city was largely lost or plundered and many of the people living there were either killed or enslaved. The destruction of Ayutthaya is still remembered as a national tragedy by many Thai people. I've got to be really careful while filming that I don't walk off the edge. <laughs> Keep an eye that we're high up and there's no gate or anything, fence to protect us. This must have been another huge temple because there's this big Buddha over there too. And they would have been pillars that you can see inside. So yeah. I'm getting a feeling that in a the Utah yeah, they like temples. They liked a good temple here. This is being reconstructed, I think. Uh, nice. Uh, I think there's bats in here, definitely.
Oh, is that where? Oh, wow. Oh, loads of bats. Ah, what do you think? This is Batman's cave. Yeah. How's the view this morning? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I lots of cafe and restaurant there. And if somebody would like to get high dress, hmm. they also can do it. Rent it out. Yeah, rent okay. On the, on the entrance, then you can go around taking lots of pretty photos. This is really good. They bring you umbrellas, uh, not because it rains a lot, but because it's really hot. You've actually got a very small gap. You've got a very small gap in order to see these temples because you either go like late afternoon or you go early in the morning because the midday heat's gonna be intense. You know, it's 40 Celsius in like 80, 90% humidity. You're gonna be really uncomfortable and uh, potentially quite dangerous going around looking at all this at that time. So yeah, you've got a small gap. You've got a small gap. You've got to come here between, you've got to come here early in the morning or the late afternoon, unless you want to suffer badly, up to you. <laughs> and it's 50 baht to enter, enter each one of these sites, by the way, if you're foreign, you can get like a group of, but you can get like a group ticket where you can go into all the sites. That's like 210 baht, so, yeah, that's, that's another option if you wanted to see them all within one day. But if you want to do it temple by temple, then it's 50 baht each. So you can just, that way you can just go to the main one because there's actually hundreds of sites, you know? I'm just going to the main ones. So, yeah. All right then. 220, not yeah. 210. Yeah. And by the time you watch this, maybe it's like inflation's gone up loads. The highlight is here. The highlight's here? Oh, look at it. Okay. Oh, okay. This must be the tree with the head. And oh, this is like the highlight, highlight of the show. This one steals the show, so to speak. Are you ready? One, two, three. There it is. Bit of a mystery how this one happened, but the most likely explanation is the head was stolen and buried for the thief to come back later to collect, but for whatever reason they didn't come and collect it, and then the tree grew around Buddha's head. We've got these little places where you can stand where Lisa from Blackpink took a picture. Blackpink, the K-pop band, um, if you're interested in doing that. Can't really say I am, but you might be. Bad that every Buddhist don't have head anymore. No. No. Maybe well, I was destroyed at some point. Hmm. Hmm. They cut to sale. Yeah, normally taken to start sale. Well, they might have been destroyed when the city got no, destroyed. No. No. Only head, maybe.
Utaya has lots of famous food, including the famous King River Prawns. There are loads of great places you can eat in the Utaya. You're not going to have to worry about food when you're here. actually really there's so many good places just to hang out hang out and uh, relax in the youth they are it's really cool it kind of gives me a vibe of like a small town It gives me a small town vibe, this place. Yes. Like a lot of places to hang out, small town vibe. Lots of foreign, bars, uh, of bars and restaurants, yeah. Yeah, I like, you like it? So maybe if you come to a Utaya, people should spend some time just in the town as well. And uh, a bit more than just seeing the historical site and leaving. Yeah. yeah. Chai. Pasak River. Yeah, nice river. Yeah. Oh, don't go too far. And then you see the other bridge. See the bridge? Okay. Ice cream pot. Ice cream pot. Cod. 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 Ice cream cod is in fish. Cod. Cod. It's like a half oil, and you just put the ice cream to... You put ice cream in oil? <laughs> yeah, to make this one. Oh, okay. You see? Ice cream inside. Oh, yeah. Turn it around. That's so weird. How that can you How can you fry that? It would melt though, wouldn't it? I don't know. I don't tell you. It's a secret. <laughs> what I eat is this. We have like this for long, more than 20 years. Oh really? Because when I'm studying in university, we also have the that shop that sells this one. Yeah, the mm. first time that I tried this one in my university. Do you want me to? You like? Mm. Can you? I like mine. Let me. Do you want me to try it? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I don't know how it doesn't mount when they make it. Very strange. Oh, it's got. Hang on, what's this bit? Mm. 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 Alright, Mac. Very nice, very delicious, and good cream as well. This restaurant is at Krung Sri River Hotel. There's actually a few very nice restaurants here. Gu Oh, really? Michelin. Yeah, we should try it in. Got it this year, last this year. This one. Now, we were here at the beginning of the year, but we didn't film then, and I'll tell you why. Never come here between January and May. I will just operate my time machine now and show you. <laughs> Audrey, how much should you pay to get the moon up there? Look at that, amazing. God, the hotel must spend a lot of money for that. I'm 
I'm staying in a hotel called Tea La Rat. I might be saying that wrong place. Um, but you get a really good idea of the Utah Yard from here because you've got the views of them surrounding. Here we are these surrounding rivers around the place, which is really uh, incredible. And yeah, it looks like this is all I'm probably going to see today. Like I say, hopefully tomorrow it clears up and I, I'll go and explore because I'm really excited about it. The beginning of the year was very polluted. So I tell you, never come here between January and May because there's a lot of agricultural burning going on. And it is, well, as you can see, not very pleasant. And you're not going to be able to see anything through all that smog. Look either. how bad that is. Absolutely disgusting. Oh, that is horrible. Yeah, definitely not going outside in there. I did venture out in the end because I was very hungry. It was nice to get out the hotel for a bit, but I think I'll retreat back. And um, so I'll just eat it. I want to make sure nothing in my teeth is there. Um, I'm not going to show you. No, I think we're clear. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm going to retreat back to the hotel because it's a bit too smoggy. I'll make sure. On this website that I'm done doing, um, that will be done probably by the time this is uploaded. I'll make sure I let you know what areas you want to go at what time of the year because that's quite an important thing to do, obviously, your people. And also, many websites don't take the pollution into account. They just, uh, well, they just tell you based on the temperature and the weather, which is important too, but You've got to take other factors in account and I'll make sure that you're aware of them on my website that you can check in the link. I'll leave it in the description so you can know when to come and how to get around basically and, and information about each area too. Everything's there. So don't go with one of these. Yeah, some guy honking me because <laughs> he wants to give me a taxi ride, but I don't want a taxi, go away. So, yeah, he's thrown me off guard now. Don't, don't book a tour for a tour company because A, they probably don't know where they're going, <laughs> and B, you're going to be paying a lot more money. Whereas if you follow my affiliate website, I can direct you to where you want to be, transportation, and you can book off Agoda or booking.com. So, going to save yourself a lot of money and you're going to have a much more better adventure. So yeah, check it out. Look at the difference. Really clear now. Oh, it's really beautiful when it's clear. Really beautiful place. Didn't, didn't notice last time so I couldn't see anything. Didn't get to see this last time too. Swimming pool. Guess what? You've got steam room in here too. Sauna even. Didn't realise that before. Ah. Sauna. Hey. Check it out tomorrow. It's actually a really nice hotel. My hands are shaking now. Obviously because I've just been working out. Maybe I'll try and do it. And my hands are not shaking so much, eh? There's the hotel and just under, under the bridge, under the bridge we got our restaurant just over here. Looks really nice as well, actually. Right on the river too, look. My friend. My friend. Your friend. Where can I go? I think we're with it. 
Sometimes the dog up here with you. I need a really amazing camera for this. No. <laughs> bird nearly flew into me. He doesn't want me taking pictures of these birds. That one. Those look like old city walls across the bridge, don't they? See? And they would have placed them there because well, you've got the river as a fortification and you've got the walls. If you want to buy me a pint, you can do so. I'll leave a link in the description and, you know, I'll be very grateful because this is a lot of hard work, believe it or not. So, yes, thank you and uh, cheers. <laughs>
was all for the royal family, this. Ah. We call the temple of the country. Temple of the country? Yeah, but it's not the normal temple. No, it's not. Like the, uh, the, head, the head of every temple. Yeah. So that's why they don't have monk there. All right. And like uh, the lawyer do. Okay. The process. The, yeah, they weren't big, allowed monks here. Yeah. Big Buddha here. Yeah. The, the monk can go to do some process, you know? Yeah, allowed him for some certain yeah, things. Yeah, but did not like uh, stay overnight mm. or sleep there. Not an abbey. Don't live there. Okay. Okay. Artery has Min Mag food. <laughs> no, it's very good, delicious one. I believe that brings us to an end. I really hope you enjoyed the episode and it'll be really great to see you in the next episode. So make sure you've liked and subscribed if you haven't already. And if you want early access to my videos, you can go on www.youknowthailand.com and sign up to it and you'll see the early videos there. in the country western. Archery's ordered some smelly food.